It's all right. It's on the Jonesy. What are you doing? Checking the coast is clear. Explain to me again exactly why you're avoiding Tess. Yeah, I'm not avoiding her. It's just... What do you say to someone whose husband turned out to be a total schmuck? Uh, you're an idiot? Oh. Um, let me think. Uh, no. Well, at least I've got ten years out of my marriage to Rachel before I fell apart, but ten weeks. Oh, so your life is completely under control, is it? Absolutely. Uh, For once in my life, Joanna, everything is 100% under control. Yes, sir. Uh, set my watch. Ten weeks, eh? It's got to be a record. And for everyone at work to know, it's humiliating. What was she thinking? Marrying a guy she hardly knew. It's not like she's a gullible teenager anymore. Everyone makes mistakes, Ben. Marrying a gay guy? I'd call that a biggie. How come they're not in school? Now, let's just see how you cope when your life doesn't go to plan. Constable, I don't intend for that to happen. Well, neither did Tess. Oi! What's up? G'day, coppers. Danny Todd, 12. Brian Hogan, 11. Why don't you come for a chill out in here for a while? That's why they stole this stuff. They're not interested in painting. They get high on the gas. What did the hospital say? And they're both fine, sort of. Yeah, well, if you don't count the number of brain cells you burn every time you do that stuff. So this isn't their first time? Oh, I doubt it. They knew what they were doing, and they definitely stole the cans. How do you know? They were so stoned they didn't bother denying it. Hi, all. G'day. Uh, what are you doing here on a school day? Ah, uh, simple. It's not a school day. Ah? Uh -huh. Student free day. Oh, really? You got a mo? Yeah, come on in. I just uh, wanted to borrow some money for a school excursion day after tomorrow. <laughs> nice try. But I happen to remember that Grace gave you that money this morning. Well, you didn't happen to remember that I'm not in uniform and I'm not going to school, so I thought I'd give it a try. What did you... Uh want this extra money for anyway? A uh, new PlayStation game? I oh, see so you're rolling your eyes. That's why I didn't want to tell you. A video game? Your problem is that you think the PlayStation is a symbol of the moral decline in the new generation. Don't deny it. Oh, well, I wasn't going to. What you don't get is the PlayStation's effective role as a teaching instrument for hand-eye coordination and lateral uh -huh. thinking. Yeah. That's why you're officially classified as an old fogey. I, on the other hand, am a bright young thing. Well, the bright young thing had better depart the old fogey's office quick smart, lest he mistake her chirpy repartee for insults. Uh, do you, uh... Do you know Danny Todd and Brian Hogan? Oh, uh, there's Danny. In year seven, he hangs around with a kid called Bogan. Uh, Brian Hogan Bogan, yeah. I didn't know his real name. It's not like they're at school a lot. <laughs> By the way, what does a 16-year-old with a day off school and no new PlayStation game plan to do between now and tea time? I thought church, sewing school and a few hours at the nursing home reading to old people. And then I thought not. What's up? Oh, it's the usual work, work, work. Mm. They'll leave you to it then. Radio. Oh, damn. What? I'm supposed to get $20 from Tom for a school excursion. Oh. I don't want to keep disturbing him. Oh, well, um... Here you go. Oh, no, I couldn't. Yeah, no, no, it's all right. Just pay him back when you get it off the bus. You sure? Yeah. Thanks. You're a champ. Yeah, no worries. See ya. See ya. This Ost exam. 
There's pages of it. Uh, well, you're much better at this stuff than I am. It's your exam. You do it. I've got to tip all these boxes. Yes, yeah, sorry? Well, I was wondering. Yes? You have such beautiful ticks. Beg your pardon? Ticks. Uh, she's got good ticks. They're crosses, anyway. That, uh, I mean, no. Don't yourself. I can't get in touch with either of these kids' parents. Well, they need to know what their kids have been up to. And drop round their homes. Leave a message. Oh, great. Kids obviously giving the school a fake address. All right, let's just take a look at him. Oh, what's that smell? Must be a squad. Hello? Mate. Hello? What are you doing here? We're looking for a Gary Hogan. Yeah. I'm Gary Hogan. You're... You live here. You don't suppose it. Does Brian sleep here? Yeah. God, the other kids' home life's got to be better than this. Look, I feed him and I put a roof over his head. That's where my responsibility ends. If he's doing drugs, that's your problem. Look, I know teenagers can be difficult, but maybe if you talk to him... Talk? I haven't be... had more than two words out of him the last few years. One starts with F, the other starts with O. Look, the doctors say that inhaling this gas can have long-term effects on Danny's brain. It's similar to drinking alcohol or getting high on any kind of drug. Where is he? Hey, Danny, your mum's here. I'm losing wages because of you. Uh, Mrs. Todd, that's, that's not going to help. Please, just uh, take a seat. Now, how do you feel? Headache. I'm not surprised. Not much fun coming down off that stuff, is it? OK, look, Danny, I need to ask you a few questions about these cans. You admitted before that you and Brian took them. Yeah, I took them. So what? Got no money to pay for them. Look, this stuff you're doing, it's not good for you. It might feel all right for a while, but it's doing a lot of damage to your lungs, your liver, your brain. Do you understand what I'm saying? Can I ask a question? Is this going to take long? Because I've got to get to my other job. Our chat with Brian, the other kid, was even worse. He didn't speak at all. How can these kids get to this point? They're only 12. I mean, what's DHS doing? Everything possible. Well, they're not going to school. They're getting stoned every day. I mean, what sort of future do they have? Yes, I think we're aware of Brian the Brian is sleeping on the floor of a caravan, for God's sake. Why aren't you finding a place for him? Look, we tried. I've got half a mind to front him up on a protection application myself. Stuart, if you could just let Wendy get a word in edgeways. Thank you. Don't you think we haven't tried that? He lasted two hours. DHS found him emergency accommodation with a foster family. He had dinner, watched an episode of The Simpsons and then bolted over the back fence. Well, we can't just give up on him. We won't. I'll take him back to his foster family now. But I can guarantee you, he won't still be there in the morning. Brian, we're not here to give you a hard time. We care about what's happening to you. We just want to make sure that you're safe. Can I go home? Um, that's probably not the best place for you right now. I want my dad. Your dad? Uh, look, he's, uh, he's a little bit crook at the moment. I'm going to see if we can help him as well. But right now, you know your foster family. I'm going to get them to look after you. OK? Look, I, uh... I know what it's like to feel like the whole world's against you. All I'm asking is you give it a go. Will you? Just give it a chance, hey? Just stick it out for a bit. Good on you. Brian, the poor kid. I mean, he just needs someone to give a damn. What, and the social workers don't? Well, you don't just dump a kid in a new house and hope for the best. You've got to at least talk them through it. 
Righto, who's for the pub? Yeah, I'll be in that too. Yeah, me too. Not me, I'm afraid. Paperwork. Oh, see you tomorrow. Yeah, no. Yeah. Right. All right. Tess, you can't be on your own. Why not? Because you just can't. Evan, go home. I really think that you need company. Go home. Uh, a soda water for me, thanks. Oi, Ben. Listen, what's this I hear about the kids and chroming, eh? Listen, it's a bit of gossip, Tony, that's all. There's nothing to it. Not what I heard. Yeah, well, you heard wrong again. What'll it be? Two beers. Soda water. Why is Ben bothering with the whole non-drinking act? I mean, he's got a problem. Why doesn't he just admit it? Stop pushing him. Yeah, well, maybe he needs... Hey, Paige. Hey, hey Tony. Uh, Tony? Yes? Uh, enjoying the whiskey, I see. Oh, let's enjoy whiskey. I love my whiskey, Dad. Right. Uh, PJ and I were just talking. Uh, how do you tell the difference between enjoying it and you know, going too far? Oh, it's easy. Control. Oh. All about control. Not going past that point where you can't get back, you know? How do you know where that point is? Well, there's the row, isn't it? Oh, look, you know, I mean, I like my drink, don't get me wrong. And uh, there might be the odd occasion where I could be accused of having one too many, you know? <laughs> no. Oh, but the trick is knowing that you can walk away, see? You understand? I mean, OK, now, I want this drink. I want this drink, but I don't need this drink. So mm -hmm. I'm in control. The day that nothing will stop me from having this drink, that's the day that I'm an alcoholic. All right, I might uh, head off. I'll see you later. Listen, guys, are you going to tell me about this criming or what? Yeah, what? Ben, Ben. Listen, I don't know what you were doing. Well, we were just having a conversation. I'm nothing like that, Soak. I wasn't saying. Yeah, you were. yeah, you were. I'm not an alcoholic, Joe. Okay, so just stay out of it. You're unbelievable. Yeah, I know. Thanks, you'll be searching his room. Already have. Didn't find anything. Listen, how's Tess going? Is there anything uh, I can do to help? I think she just wants some time alone. I don't know that I'd want to be alone at a time like this. Mm. Hey, guys. Hey, hey. Hey. Soda water. There's one on offer. No, thanks. Uh, Chris, could I grab the key to the garage? I just need to get something from the stuff I stored out there. Sure. Mm. Who's there? It's just me. What are you doing back here? I've come to take you away from all this. Evan. <laughs> we, my dear, are off for a night of fun and excitement. Go home. You notice how efficiently I'm ignoring you here? Yes, I do, and it's getting very annoying. Well, there's only one way to stop me hassling here, isn't it? Yeah, what's that? <laughs> We're going bowling. Oh, no, 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 no. Disco bowling. Give me strength. Do you need a hand pushing the exercise? No, board? thanks. No. Should I start the running sheet? No, I've already done it. Problem? Morning, all. I know. Uh, glad to see someone got out of bed on the right side. G'day. Hey. Oh, look. Another smiling face. I didn't realise that had been banned as well. And I'm glad to see that work gives cause for some of us to smile. Lemon tea, no sugar, thanks. I bet, remember? Yeah, all right, but no one gets three strikes in a row. Almost no one. You two obviously had a good night last night. Uh, Ben, did you start the running shoot? Yes, of course. Good. Well, you and Joe better get out there then. Ben, I'm sorry about last night. Why? Drunk, were you? I'm worried about you. There's nothing to worry about. You've got a problem with alcohol. Is that why you insisted on driving? Anyway, I wasn't even drinking last night. Yeah, I know, but if you don't have a problem, why do you get so uptight when we talk like this? Joe, if I drink, you think I'm an alco. If I don't drink, you think I'm an alco. I can't win. It's not about winning. I care about you. You would just do me a favour. Will you care a little bit less? Hey.
Brian skipped out of foster care sometime during the middle of the night. What about the school? Did they report him missing? They duly noted him absent, which they have done since the beginning of the year. Our old mate Tony Tim certainly has a way with words in his weird world. Our troubled teens suddenly become street gangs and uh, health, health problems. problems become drug crimes, wrecking our families. Something, Something has, has to, to be, be done. done. Well, of course. Yeah. Oh, for once in my life, I agree with him. Something does have to be done. Why? Big pun. Why does anything have to be done? Sam, I'm talking about kids who are younger than you. You don't care what they're doing to themselves? So they're chroming. If they had cash, it'd probably be dope. If they were adults, it'd probably be alcohol. This is damaging their brains, their lungs, their livers. It's a You very see 12-year-olds and you want to rescue them. I see a kid who's just trying to make his own choices, whether you like those choices or not. You don't really think we should be giving up on these kids? I'm just saying that if you want to get through to these kids, you should stop telling them what to do and start listening. Yeah, well, thanks for the tip, Sam. You know, I might actually try and stop these kids from killing themselves. Who are you? Ben Stewart, senior constable we met yesterday. If I was here all day yesterday. You don't remember? What about DHS? Did they come around to see you here yesterday? You don't remember that either. Is this what you want for your son? <sighs> no. Not what I wanted for myself either, but... You want one? I don't drink in the middle of the day. <laughs> it's about self-control. You can stop when you want. You can choose to give it up. Mate, I do give it up. Between midnight and nine. Your son deserves better. Yeah. What can I do? You can tell him to stay in his foster home. Will you? Give Brian a chance at a life. No, nothing at all. I work, I buy food, I cook it, I go to work again, that's it. Look, your son needs more than food. Do, do you talk to him? Talk about his day? Talk about your day? Toilets? There's not much to talk about. Danny stopped needing me a long time ago. Look, I've got little kids myself, I've got three of them, and you know, I know sometimes they can be little monsters, but you've got to keep trying with them. Look at you. Look at me. You have no idea what my life is like. I can't do anything with him anymore. I tried. I can't. He doesn't care and neither do I anymore. Well, what if I got him to care about something? What if I found something that I could get him interested in? Would you let me have a go? Do what you like. Basketball. Yeah. I coach a couple of nights a week. Kids from school. Why don't you pair come along tonight? Tonight? Yeah, why not? Just give it a go. You don't have to be any good or anything. Just chuck the ball about, have a bit of fun. What do you reckon? Whatever. All right, leg over left. Down, all the way, touch your toes. And up slowly on a one, two, three. Are we starting? What are we waiting for? And again, down. Come on. All the way. Hold it. Up on a one, Get off two. Me, Let me go. I haven't done anything. Danny. Get off me. Found this kid sneaking around outside. It's OK, Phil, there with us. Not this kid. I've seen him around before. Breaking in, spray painting the place. Where's Brian? And the he... other kid got away. Well, you chased him. Well, they were trying to sneak in. Phil, they came here to play basketball, you idiot. Don't talk to me like that. <sighs> Just let him go. This kid's been tagging the place. I want him charged. And his mate, if you know who he is. If you don't let him go, I will charge you with assault. You've got to be joking. Don't blame me when he sprays your car. You okay? I'm sorry about that. All right, everyone, let's play. Danny, grab that. Okay, lay up this side. All spread out. Where's the rebound, guys? 
good, good. Yeah. Okay, Danny. Good. Okay. All right, Callum, good. Yep. Good stuff. Okay, Danny, for the rebound, mate. Good. That's all right. Good. Okay. That's enough. Okay, the idea is throw a basket. You get it in, you move to the next position on the key. Keep going until you get the ball at the end, and then you get your stuff and go home. Okay, Kira, go. Hands on. going until you get you finished, grab your stuff, go home. Danny, I'll see you tomorrow night. Good stuff. All right. Okay. Sam, yours. The boys, is your mum out there? Yeah. What are you waiting for? Don't you go? See ya. See you tomorrow. Yeah. I'll just uh, walk out, mate. Get it. You're having such a great time out there. You were doing so well. Why? What's going on? Phil, just leave us, mate. I hope. You're letting that kid. Well, leave us alone. We can't let kids do drugs. Will you just back off? Give it over. Hey, Danny. Is your mum ever here when you get home at night? Is she here when you get up in the morning? Well, look, I could, you know, keep giving you a lift home from basketball and nights if you want. And... I could pick you up and drive you to school if you want to. School? Yeah, you know, the big building with the oval out the back, teachers, classrooms, all that. It's a new idea they're trying out. I can't do it every day, but tomorrow morning, what do you reckon? Good on you. Hey, you're great tonight. Hey, hey, Ben. Ben. Listen, mate. I just heard about a kid who was caught climbing down the basketball court. Where the hell did you hear that? Oh, I can't reveal my sources, but you know. You gonna give me a comment? Yeah, I, I, I got a comment. Yeah? Good stuff. Yeah, good on you. Hey. 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 One beer does not an alcoholic make. In fact, having just the one and stopping proves I'm in control. Funny you're so under the weather, given you only had one beer. Mind you, I left earlier than you, so maybe you turned into a big night after it's all. It's just a headache. People do get headaches. Well, only you don't, do you? I remember you saying once you don't get headaches any time you get a sore head is when you're hungover. Oh, correction, you give me a headache. Hey, Ben. See in the paper? Mount Thomas Police part of problem. What sort of police force stands by and lets a 12-year-old boy sniff aerosol? Oh. Last night in Mount Thomas, the senior constable did just that. Recreation yeah, manager, Phil Watkins, Watkins witnessed the incident. That bastard. Yeah, well, that bastard's got a bit to say about you, I'll Yeah. 
When questioned by this paper, the member's response was to get staff. Oh, God, tell me that the boss hasn't seen this. Not just the boss. I've spoken to the Recreation Centre manager and he's standing by every word in this article. Well, he's saying what he thought he saw. Did you or did it's you not, not what happened? Did you or did you not allow this boy to sniff aerosol in front of you? Well, I didn't tackle him to the ground, if that's what you're asking. I'm not. I'm asking whether you stopped him as soon as you could. I reasoned with him and then he stopped of his own accord. So you did let him keep using in front of you? I'm sure if we look, look at he's a damn reason, sight better off with me in the change room of a gym than he is inhaling off down the railway yards by himself. Yeah, Stuart has made considerable progress with me. That may be, but it sounds like he's confirming every word that is written in this no, article. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm just suggesting that our policy with regards to these kids is not that fabulous. It's not your job to comment on policy, well, It Stuart. seems to me that you believe a journalist and a half-wit gym operator over me, isn't no point even trying to defend myself. Stuart, I'm I don't sure like you. Obviously... I really don't like your attitude. It comes across both in this article and in this room. Did you tell this journalist to get stuffed? I didn't know he was going to quote me. All right, I'm going to find this kid and get his side Sir... of the story. Then I'm going to have to consider a charge of conduct likely to bring the force into disrepute, which I'm sure you realise, with your record to date, will mean the end of your career. Is Ben drinking again? Yes. Is it serious? Yeah, it's serious. So, so he's not making any improvement at all? Oh, so I think he's getting worse. Why didn't you come to me? Because we hoped we wouldn't have to. After basketball. Just a couple. It's it's been a tough couple of days. Seeing those kids. Thinking my own kids. I probably did let it affect me, but no no. I'm fine. Hey. Your colleagues are concerned. Do you think you have a drinking problem? No. I'd like to be able to say you with your word. But I think you need some help. Clinical services can Boss, provide... no. I think you need to talk to somebody professional about this. I drank no more last night than PJ or Joe. And what about Jonesy? He tied one on a couple of weeks ago after that car accident. Are you saying anything about Everybody him? has a one-off... And one Tess? I mean, her marriage just split up after ten weeks. You don't think that she has a glass of wine at night to forget? Are you lecturing them? Are you sending them off to clinical services? I will if their drinking starts to affect their work. I think you're past that point. And I think you need to do something about it. OK, look, just give me one more chance. I will sort things out. I guarantee it. I'm sorry. I don't want to hear it. Well, he asked us. Yeah. Well, you always were the good little princess, weren't you? Yeah, hey, that's not fair. No. What's not fair is you going behind my back to talk to the boss about something which is none of your business. Just need to have a word with Tom. Oh, sure, Chris, in his office. Tom? Oh, look at that. What's up? Hi. Listen, I've just found my barman trying to sell a bottle of bourbon to uh, an underage kid. You're Sam. And if I hadn't known who she was, she would have got away with it completely. Oh, she tried to borrow some money off me the other day. This is what it was for. I, I didn't give it to her, of course. Yeah, well, someone did. And as you know, it puts my licence in jeopardy. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm sorry. I'll, uh, I'll go talk to her. Okay. No, don't worry, I'll sort it out. Ta. Sam didn't borrow any money from me the other day, did she, by any chance? Yeah, she did 20 bucks. That was OK, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. It's, we'll, Why? we'll talk later. Did you find Danny Todd? Found him. Didn't get to talk to him. Damn kid ran off. Yeah, ben, I can talk to him. I think we'd better send someone else. The, the kid's scared. All these strangers keep turning up. He knows me. Yeah? He was at school this morning, right? Well, he's never at school, is he? Yeah, well, he was this morning. That's where you found him, isn't it? Yes. 
How did you know that's where he'd be? Because I dropped him there myself. Hey, you didn't think to tell me this before I went looking for him at his home. I said, I'm making real progress with this kid, OK? He'll talk to me. So why don't I go and bring him in? Plus, there's a good chance I know where he is. Fine, but you bring him straight here. Right. Take Tess. No, look, there's no need for that. Yes, there is. Keep a tight rein on him. He'll be here. It's their favourites. Maybe they're not climbing after all. Ben? Yes, again. Oi! Danny! Brian! It's dangerous up there. I want you to come down. Down! Down! Come down! I don't like this. Maybe they should stay put till their head's clear. No, no. I'll stop them now. OK, slowly. Just take it slowly. That's it. Just take it slowly. OK. Danny, I need to talk to you, mate. Danny? I'm driving faster in the car. Danny's in trouble again. I'm not interested. Mrs. Todd. I am tired of dealing Mrs. with Todd, him. This I don't is care serious. where he is. It's not my concern. He's it's dead. not my. What? I'm sorry. He'd been inhaling fumes from a can. He ran. It was a heart attack. Heart? It's unusual. The fumes had affected his heart, and when we found him, he started to run away, and his heart just couldn't cope with the strain. I'm so sorry. I'm due at work. If, if there's anything no. I can do... Well, this is your lucky day. Given the circumstances, I won't be pursuing this matter any further. I feel bad about this kid, too. His and name was Danny. Danny Todd. I feel bad about Danny, but that does not alter the fact that your attitude and behaviour need adjustment. And what would you recommend that I do, sir? Just because this isn't the appropriate time to discuss the matter doesn't mean I don't dearly want to. You listen to me, Stuart. If any member deserved a charge of conduct unbecoming, that person is you. Either you get your act together or you can say goodbye to your job. Spectre wouldn't know his arm from his elbow. <laughs> ben, what you did reflects on everyone at this station. In a way, he's right. You got away with it this time. But unless you think about what you're doing, there is nothing to stop it happening There's again. There's nothing wrong. Yes, there is. Now, I want you to go home. Boss! You heard me. You've got some serious thinking to do.
want you to listen to me. Wherever you are, it's not too late. I know it's hard. I know you're afraid, but it's not impossible. You can do it. You can get your life back on track. I'll help you. Can you hear me? It's not too late. I'll help you. Go home. Haven't you all got families? Go home to them. But my mum's not here. Well, go and play in the park. Go on. Go, go, go. What the hell are you doing? Drunk. I bugger off. If it wasn't for you, none of this would have happened. You couldn't leave it alone because you had to stick your nose in the spin, didn't you? You loser! Basketball today, mate. Coach you some wealth. Oh, how is he? Asleep. You talk to Phil? Yeah. Well, to keep it quiet. Oh, it's very persuasive. Persuasive about what? Oh, just sorting out this domestic. It's just a small disturbance. Yeah, minor. And Ben's okay. Yeah. Nothing I should worry about? No. Hello? Oh, Wendy. Oh, is Senior Constable Stewart in? Uh, no. no. Is it something I can help you with? Oh, no. Um, they just give her a message. Somehow, God knows why, Brian Hogan turned up at his foster home half an hour ago. Well, what brought that on? <laughs> I've absolutely no idea. I just wanted to let him know. Well, thanks, Wendy. Well, I think that deserves a drink. Thanks. Hey. Hi, Sam. Hey. Are you coming, boss? Uh, no, thanks. Not tonight. Uh, something we need to do. So, how was the excursion? The... Oh, yeah, terrific. So you had a good day? Oh, brilliant. Very educational. Mount Thomas sewerage works. Who would have thought? <laughs> so interesting. And your fellow tourists weren't too upset when you got back from the pub without the bourbon. Um, What's going on? You wouldn't understand. Maybe not. But I reckon I'm worth a try. Well, you try coming back to school after so long. It's tough. These kids, they're so tight. And you needed to score some points. Get some cred. <sighs> you know that boy we were talking about yesterday? What about him? I'm nothing like him. I hope not. 
he died today. He just drifted further and further off the tracks until... until there were no tracks. I don't like the thought of that happening to you. I didn't think I mattered that much to you. Well, you do. So, could the bright young thing give that some thought? If that's what the old fogey wants. Good. Let's go. Something with salad, Grace said. I think she's trying to tell me something. <laughs> hey, does Grace know anything about, you know, the grog? Well, I wouldn't want to worry her. What do you reckon? Mm -hmm. Guys, what brilliant idea can I come up with to drag you away from your work tonight? Look, Evan, the other night was fun, OK? But tonight I really do have some work to catch up on. Hey, come on, don't brush me off. Don't. So the defences are back up, are they? What? I know what you're talking about. Your nice marriage to your respectable husband. That's what I'm talking about. Don't do that. You know, I'm not stupid. I know what it was all for. It was to shut me out and to protect yourself from feelings that you're afraid of. You're wrong. No, you are. You should have married me. Well, you should have married me. There you go. Thanks, It was two beers, wasn't it? Yeah, Paige is on his way. Speak of the devil. Ben not coming in tonight? No, no, he, uh, he couldn't make it. Good day. Did you um, check on him? Yeah, I checked on him. He's doing fine, he's just sleeping it off.